Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about uh, this package the PFY and yes now the version 3.00 is out and I did a pull request so now I can use inside Revit yeah that's cool and and basically is uh, the same uh, Y in the Revit lookup yep so let's create a simple project and install the package and see what we can do with that uh i'm gonna use the uploader to create a new project so we can test uh, the pf uh, y dot uh, sample that's a good name let's create in here this is good enough and let's create a new project uh, by the way, if you use this package, uh, probably gonna have some problems in the future uh, because you're gonna have some issues with multiple versions and so on. So the idea is to create uh, a package just to use inside the Revit. So maybe I can change the dark, the dark theme, uh, similar like here Revit. So you can match the colors and so on so that's the idea and yeah uh, let's wait my project to open why it takes so long i don't know uh yeah it's open my project and let's build this and install the package and make a simple view and yep let's go Let's build this just to make sure everything is working. Uh, should appear in here a uh, button. Yeah, everything is working. Great. Uh, let's go in my project and let's right click and measure new get package. And let's browse in here uh, pf.y. This one is not this one. Dash. Okay. APF. Oh boy. Is this one? Yeah, this one. Yeah, dash Y. Uh, version 3. Great. Uh, let's install that. I'm going to have a problem. Let's try. I'm using version, yeah, I accept that. Yeah, I need to change this. Uh, I did uh, 19, yes. I'm using the old version, so it's not gonna work. Now should install properly. Yeah, uh, I need net uh, framework at least uh, for 6.2 and yeah. Let's change in here just to make sure. 19. Yeah, anyway, uh, the package was installed. Great. And let's go and create a new, a new folder. Builds. And let's create a new, um, a new view. Yeah. Let's. Let's go I'm here. I'm going to use my templates. This should be great. Uh, main, main view. Yeah, that's going to be good. And let's, let's make my view to show. I don't need that. New main view show just to have some fun I build this and clicking here should appear my empty view great uh, now to enable uh, that let's go in here uh, I'm gonna go in the main uh, developer because that's the right one. Uh, I'm gonna go in here 
have a pretty simple sample. Uh, that's basically what you're gonna do. I'm gonna copy this to add in my to apply the theme in my view. Let's add the reference someplace. Yes. Let's change. Um, let's remove this. This doesn't matter as well. Yeah, the rest is good enough. And in my view, uh, I'm gonna add this. Basically, this. Mm, let's copy that. This in here. And I need this line. Yep, need this one. And I need the Y as well. I'm gonna change the window to this one. And one thing I need to change as well is this guy. I need to remove to match the new name. And if I build, should everything should work fine. Uh, if I click, if I click in here, should appear my sample. Yeah, I have a button here. Uh, this is similar to to the rev to look up and yeah that's the idea you can resize that everything should work fine and that's basically it uh i can add some stuff to make swap but first i need to add one more thing that's basically uh this line and the other one is window background type i'm gonna into out just to make uh work fine when i add the um, the change team and yeah let's make that button to change team so uh commands let's bind something bind um, button change team or better command chain team yeah good enough and let's go in here i'm gonna add uh, property i'm gonna use my rabbit uh, my i relay command that's using my mvvm package let's change this this could be private and let's go in here and create a new a relay commands yes good and let's add something like this so if i show change it something like this and can I close this one by clicking here should appear in my console yeah that's good now let's make it change yep i have um this guy have as well uh change a team in here uh i event actually let's add this one and i guess i gonna add uh this dot words. yes mm, just to unsubscribe to that event just to make sure uh, something like this yes and in this one i'm gonna add this guy to refresh the team and this should be working now what i can do i'm going here dot um, apply yes i get yeah make swap this one var team equal this uh, equal uh night let's light dash mm, go to the light no that's wrong this one yes something like that should work i guess and if i go here click in here and this should swap my team yeah that's that's it 
basically. If I open new tab, should be dark, and if I click, should change pool. It's not gonna change this one because this is using a different library. And but yeah, and that's basically how it works. You can add other stuff. I'm still learning how to use this version three, but yeah, that's the basically how you can use to uh, in your uh, main main view apply the team you need to add this and if you want to do some uh, to swap your change on the fly you need to add something like that should work fine and yeah that's basically it for this video yeah i'm gonna put in the description uh, the main github and yep yeah, that's it thanks for watching and don't forget to give a like subscribe and share the video Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.